Hey everyone, so this is a very quick and dirty test of something which I purchased the other day. So I'm always obsessing about my sound, and especially for my iPhone, it's easy to record like this, but I got told, and I could hear, the sound was terrible. Um, I'm, I'm using my iPhone sound at the moment, although I'm about to plug in this. This is a, a Rode Smart Lav. Sounds like a toilet, but it's not. It's a Smart Lav Plus. Um, it's a lapel mic, or what you, it's a lap mic, but whatever you call that properly. Um, basically clips on like this, and um, what I like about it is that I've got a couple of other Rode shotgun mics and so on, they make good mic products, but uh, you know, you, I've got a computer down here, there are other ambient noises in the room, so you know, you want a mic that only picks up your voice if possible, and that picks it up at a good volume, so I'm not being shouted down by Victor, for example, all the time. So here's an experiment. This is me talking normally now. I'm going to take this, which is currently attached to this, and I'm going to attach this and see is there going to be any, what's the difference in sound from the standard uh, iPhone mic, which isn't hard to improve on, let's face it, but let's, uh, let's have a look. So. That in now. I don't actually know if this will change the sound or not, if it's actually switching the mic or not. Um, I guess I'm about to find out when I play this back, but uh, certainly this is the sound of the lav mic it's interesting there's no batteries necessary it's powered off the smartphone it's got a special four i think what do they call it trrs or something that's the type of plug it, it, which means that you can't use it directly or for example a, a normal mic like my um my zoom mic for example so i actually also got a second attachment which is this which is like a converter which allows you to put this into the mic for example on my gh3 camera um, or on my zoom mic which I can plug in in USB which means that I can use this actually um, with my other mics if I use this adapter it will only work with the smartphone as is but anyway this is the uh, so this is the Rode SmartLav Plus it says broadcast quality audio I'll believe that when I play this back let's have a look hey so you know I said I'd check this out with the GH3 and um, yeah I'm doing that. I've actually got the fisheye lens on this at the moment. Um, of course, everything is better with fisheye lens, so I'm going to just do it as is. So this is a continuation of the test of the Smart Lab from Rode, um, where I'm going to try out with this adapter. So what I'm going to do is, um, right now I'm talking to you uh, on the mic built in to the GH3. This is a standard sound, and it's a pretty good sound, actually. I'm, I'm always very happy with the quality. GH3 is one of the best video-taking cameras that you can get as a, you know, a consumer product. However, what I've done is I've attached the SC3 um, adapter attachment, which allows me to use this lab mic with um, normal mic inputs. Now, this is 3.5 millimeter, which the GH3 has. It's no mini mic, which is uh, fantastic. So I'm about to plug this in. Uh, hopefully, it will just switch over the sound input, and we'll see uh, what the difference in quality is and if indeed this works. So boom, I'm plugging that in. And I'm plugged in. Now, I need to check, and I can see the sound levels have gone up there. Uh, so I'm looking at the monitor on the, the camera at the moment. According to this, it's plugged in. It seems to be working. And check it out. This is the lav mic working directly with the um, GH3. The only thing is, is that the um, sound cable is only 1.5 meters. So I guess if I wanted to set this up in a studio and have it wired and recording, I'd need a pretty serious extension cord for the mic. And then you start risking things like grounding and static and stuff like that. But just to establish the principle that uh, this works and that I can do that with this, I'm assuming the sound is going to be better like it was on the iPhone. Probably the, the mic on the GH3 is already pretty good, so I don't know how much different that it will be, but um, there you go. This is the difference between the uh, Rode Smart Lab mic and the standard mic on top of the GH3. Okay, so I just played this back, and yeah, the sound is noticeably boosted. I think it's clear. Um, one thing I noticed was it was catching up the breathing. The uh, how to use the uh, the pro tips and so on the tips for using that come attached with this suggest it's actually good to point the mic downwards so that you don't catch breathing um, yeah that's probably a good idea uh, although I'm not quite sure I can get it horizontal I don't know how to get it vertical I'll have to figure that one out but um, yeah I think this is good what's nice about this and what I'm really thinking about is um, I've seen some test videos of this. One, it's, it doesn't just record yourself. If I'm talking with someone, it's a good mic. For, for example, two people talking. Uh, when Victor and I were in the YouTube space, um, I just pulled out this, my tiny but extremely good video quality uh, GM1 Panasonic camera, put this on a mount, used set up the professional lighting uh, in, in the uh, studio that they had there. 
and shot awesome, awesome, awesome looking footage of two and a half Oyajis with, as everyone heard, crap sound. I mean, terrible. And, and it's not, it's, it's harsh to blame the little mics on the top of this. It takes good enough sound in a reasonable environment, but it was beside an open door and there was a party in the next room. Um, so, but it occurred to me that if I wanted to, for example, swing by the, the YouTube space and record some videos, um, I want to take this, and if I take something like this, which is just in my pocket, I can record the sound separately onto my iPhone, and take it home and mix it up in the computer when I get home, and um, yeah, just listening to it, this, this means, I mean, this package, this all fits into this, and there's no batteries or anything required, this and this, I've got a full, pretty damn close to broadcast quality studio, and that's what I like about that, I can put these in my pockets. And, 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 and on the way home from work of course probably I think if I was planning to go to the YouTube studio I would get the GH3 I'd get the bigger heavier duty camera but you know there's not a lot of difference actually in the quality especially if you've got all the lighting and the sound right so um although with the GH3 this is the, probably another test I'm going to do um I can with this attachment I should be able to plug this directly into the GH3 so no sound mixing required uh, I'll check that out but yeah this is the uh the Rode SmartLav Plus, and it's pretty good quality, I'm impressed. Peace.